Our next speaker is going to tell us about what he calls the home to the cloud. This notion of whatever infrastructure you have, what you're using, whatever it may be, he's built a capacity to take that to his home, to his cloud home, and to offer a better way of delivering it. He's solving the why question. To talk about home to the cloud, eShelter marketplace for a hybrid and multi-cloud world, please help me welcome to the WHD Global stage, the Director of Business Development and Cloud Platform at eShelter, Mr. Toyan Nugan. Toyan, please join us. Fantastic. So hi everyone. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the conference so far. Do you like it? Fantastic. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm Tuan. I'm uh, uh, I'm part of uh, eShelter here in, uh, in 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 Germany, and I run the uh, co-location business and our hybrid cloud connectivity platform at eShelter. And uh, today I want to you know, share with you some, some, some ideas around you know, our, our notion and our idea of you know, home to the cloud, right? Um, before we, uh, we do that, um, you know, I'd like to you know, raise this actually you know, quite interesting um, question. Um, let me click. If everything goes into cloud, right? So obviously, you know, everybody here you know, talks about different sort of cloud solutions, private cloud, you know, like public cloud solutions and, and hybrid cloud solutions, right? Do you actually still need data center, right? And the second question is, you know, for, 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 for eShell at least, right, since we are, you know, one of the largest uh, data center and co-location provider across EMEA, is cloud a dis disruption actually for, for us, right, as a data center operator? And the short answer is no. Right? The reality is, if you look into the numbers, uh, like you know, 2016, 2015, the data center business and the co-location business is actually growing, right? really between you know, 12 to 15 percent year over year. And the crazy you know, really fact about you know, the growth is actually that the cloud computing you know, part of the equation actually you know, drives the data center and, and, and co-location business right? in terms of growth. And that's really crazy, right? And in fact, right, from, from an e perspective, uh, you know, there's a huge opportunity, right, for all sort of, you know, private cloud solutions, public cloud uh, solutions, because 80% of, of the existing data center business is still with, like, you know, with, is still with the end customer, right? They still have their little, you know, like, sweet server rooms, you know, like some, something in the, in the basement, and they call it data center and really, really, you know, scalable and highly available data centers, right? And this is actually really nuts, right? If you think of, you know, services around the globe, like, you know, the Microsoft Cloud, the Amazon Web Services Cloud, and, and other, you know, cloud offerings, right? And customers and a lot of the, the people out there, they still run their own, uh, like, like, really tiny server rooms, right? So it's really just uh, ridiculous, right? The next question, I mean, and we've been talking about Kodak, right? And I really like the example. I think, you know, and here in the audience, I think we can, like, name at least, you know, a couple of, you know, like, examples like, like Kodak, like Nokia, which basically invented some of the, really, like, some of the, the story behind, you know, like, the mobile story behind the digital photography. And nevertheless, right, they, they did manage, like, to, to really, you know, like, wave and, and really, you know, ride that wave, right? It's, it's, just, it's just crazy, right? And I think, you know, and the question is these days, you know, who wants to be a CIO and, and, and CEO, actually, right? So we have a lot of changing business models, right? Um, now, in terms of capacity, I think that's also a big challenge for, for a lot of CIOs, right? So where can I really run my, uh, you know, like, my existing IT, and is it prepared, like, for to keep pace with, with the innovation? And, and the changing business, right? And, and there are actually a lot of, you know, like new emerging technology partners out there. And, and so the, the question I think a lot of CIOs and CEOs uh, you know, have today is basically, you know, do I know all of the right partners, right, that are out there and you know, that, that have really great technology that can help me to transform my, my business, right? And uh, so I would like to, to talk to you about, you know, you know, our 
story around home to the cloud and you know and and ideally how we can like you know provide a secure home for for your IT right with capacity uh, you know to grow your business you know with with an environment you know which is connected and where you can reconnect your business you know across the EMEA, across the globe actually and then eventually a room for you guys to to innovate right I think you know, innovation is super important uh, these days. So typically, if uh, um, you know, if, if customers think of eShell, that they think of space, power, right? So that's really you know, like we we. So the, the number game is actually used to be really important for eShell, right? To give you a couple of perspectives, so uh, in in our largest campus in Frankfurt, right, uh, which is by the way also the largest data center across Europe, uh, it's roughly. Uh, 100,000 of you know, net square meter of data center, right? And in terms of power capacity, we can provide up to 120 you know, megawatt. I mean, this number is just just crazy. You know, to give you some perspective, so this is actually you know, more power. You know, we can actually provide more power than the the Frankfurt uh, airport, for instance, right? And really, including some of the like some of the tiny towns around the Frankfurt uh, Frankfurt um, airport as well. So just uh, just crazy. So we used to you know, really design, build, and operate, and really secure our data centers in order to provide a, a secure home to, to our customers' uh, IT, right? I think you know, we've been doing you know, this business for 16, 17 years now, and I think we've been doing you know, this business pretty well. Um, the next wave that, that we are trying to ride is really around connectivity, right? I think you know, that's super important for most of our partners and customers um, that wants to connect their enterprise, their applications, their users around the globe, right? I think that's, um, that's uh, one of the investment area that, that uh, we'll put a lot of effort into. And then I think the partner ecosystem is also very important, right? Because customers, they don't want to use data center just to, to you know, just place server and storage and networking, right? So eventually they want to you know, build applications and really transform their businesses. Right, I think so. If you think of you know from 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 that end, so it's super important to have a very healthy or healthy ecosystem in terms of you know like technology partners, systems integrators, and that that you know partners that can really help you to transform the business. Because I you know deeply believe that you know most of the enterprises and actually all of the enterprises they can't do it just by themselves. Right, they need the ecosystem. And I think this is one of the pillars that we bring to the table as well. And last not but not least, uh, you know the eShell Innovation Lab. Right, so I have a lot of Conversations uh, over the last uh, uh, days, right? And and you know, if we talk about new emerging technologies, new new business models, I think uh, for for a lot of the, the enterprises out there, the question is always like, you know, what are the first steps, right? So where can I you know test out and really you know really get 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 my feet wet on on those new emerging technologies? And we at eShell, we want to partner together with the technology partners and other partners in the ecosystem to provide you know enterprises with a sort of you know POC platform where, where they can run different sort of use cases and really you know transform their their businesses. And as I mentioned before, uh, these are our you know investment areas where we want to put a lot of effort and money into, in, into the business to help you, know, you guys and, 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 and our customers to, to move forward, right? So as we speak, eShield is building out you know, six, more than six data centers across EMEA, right? And, and, and I think you know, that really gives you the space for more growth. Um, our, uh, in terms of connectivity, so we have a, you know, quite a decent uh, density of, uh, of, of carrier in our data centers, right? More than th 350. And I think which is uh, the, the, the second piece is, uh, which is really the, the important piece, cloud connectivity today, right? So if you talk about hybrid cloud, I think you, know, you need to have the equation with private cloud solutions, but also like some sort of public cloud solution, right? Like Amazon, like SoftLayer, like Google. And, and uh, the good news is we at eShelter, we provide you know, the access point, right? The pops into those public cloud solutions in order for you guys to leverage you know, the, the beauty and, and you know, like the, the, the capabilities and the power of hybrid cloud. And again, we want to connect you with our partners, right? That help you guys to really transform your IT, your um, business models, 
and, and uh, you're really in order to really achieve your, your idea and your visions at the end of the day, right? I think that's really important. And again, the Innovation Lab, it's uh, our, you know, the, the fourth investment area where we, we want to invest more effort and money together with our technology partners and give you like a platform to, to really get started right away. So for us, the Innovation Lab is um, you know, an area and, and you know, a space where, where ideas become reality, right? So we will provide all sort of technology, hardware, you know, um, and connectivity, and also the, the public cloud connectivity for you guys to test in a you know, relatively productive environment, right? Which is located actually in the largest data center in, in Frankfurt. Okay, so come to us and, and you know, talk about the Innovation Lab and uh, we want to make sure that we, we provide the, PU, uh, the use cases and, and the, the emerging technologies that, that are relevant to, to, to our partners and, and our customers. And the idea behind this is basically to you know, really experiment frequently, measure and improve, and really iterate on the use cases, right? Because these days I think you can't like predict you know, like uh, IT and, and your business, like for years, right? I think these, these days it's super important to have really small steps, keep iterating and learning, and then, you know, like improving as you move, right? I think that's really important. And then eventually, like, uh, to focus on your business. <clears throat> um, this is just a snapshot of the ongoing uh, activities and effort that we put into our ecosystem um, you know, and also our innovation lab, right? And we have identified um, seven areas and, and, and topics that we want to invest uh, into and we would ideally like to ask you guys to come to us and also like, you know, tap into this opportunity and help you know, our customers to innovate, right? So one bucket is obviously we need to uh, collaborate and also you know, work together with the hyperscalers, right? Like the Amazon, like the Google, like, so uh, soft, um, like, like Microsoft, Azure, and, and other hyperscalers, right? Uh, the second area is around security. I, th I think you know, everybody you know, that, that talked about digitalization and really moving the IT to the next level, I think, you know, and then connecting their IT with the public cloud. You, know, you need to think of um, uh, IT security, and here we have started with entity security, Roden, Schwarz, Barracuda, so just a few name drops like to, to provide some, some sort of hybrid uh, IT security capabilities as well. The next area is around you know, like OpenStack. I think you know, this uh, has been uh, really strongly adopted over the last uh, one or two years, right? especially here in Germany. And uh, here we are working very closely together with uh, Canonical, uh, which is behind the uh, you know, quite popular Linux uh, operating system, Ubuntu, and also with uh, Mirantis, for instance, and other players in this space. right? And then containers, obviously, one of the areas that we also in, in invest a lot into together with our partners. And in fact, uh, we, have, uh, we have been partnering with uh, Canonical to provide you know, some, some live demos uh, you know, throughout the, the world hosting days, right? And I think today was, uh, was the last session together with our partner, and I think a lot of uh, customers and, 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 and our people came to our booth and, and learned about uh, container capabilities, right? And, um, the other areas are around um, scale-out storage. I think that's super important, you know, because everybody's like, really digitizing their business, which means like to put more data into the cloud, right? And therefore, I think this is a big area for us to invest together with our partners and, and uh, to, to really tap into this uh, you know, growth area. Then Industry 4.0, which is a big thing for, for, for Germany, right? So, and uh, the, the IoT, in, um, in the US market, right? So we are also partnering with, with partners like Cloudera and other partners. And last but not least, I think big data and HPC is a super uh, interesting area for us and also machine learning. And I think you know, today everybody's talking about artificial intelligence, machine learning, but you know, within the innovation lab, so we, uh, we are partnering with, with some really super cool startups that, that can really provide hands-on capability to you guys around you know, this area of, of machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence, right? So come to us and, and talk to, to us about your use cases and we will, be, uh, we will be providing you guys with the platform to start right away and really get your, your feet wet. 
So with that, I would like to wrap up a little bit and, and really, you know, what are the key takeaways? You know, if you think of eShelter, I think it's quite obvious, right? So data center co-location, but please, you know, remember us as, as an ecosystem that, that can help you to, to shorten your, your development cycle by really working with very you know, like emerging technology partners, but also like mature you know, marketing um, technology partners, right? We want to help you guys to, to accelerate um, you know, like, and, and really help you to guys uh, to, to introduce new uh, cloud solutions as well, right? So the time to market uh, is super important for us. And then time to innovation on the other hand side, really you know, come to us and, and learn about, you know, like the partners that have built up, you know, great use cases and, and you know, that, that can help you like to implement innovations and, and great use cases right away, and which is built then on top of a uh, state-of-the-art platform. So with that, I would like to thank everybody for, for your time and your attention, and please uh, come to our booth, right? So uh, we have a lot of people there that, that can you know, walk you through our solutions and the Innovation Lab, and uh, thank you very much.